The home was previously owned by an older Portuguese couple. I like the layout. It was really funky inside. There's all sorts of different types of wallpaper. When I walked through with my family, they would have said not good bones, but for me, it was pretty good bones. When we first started working on the space, we were working on the LT Market store. And so we had just finished that with AKB and Kelly Buffy. So she kind of did me a favor and came on to this project and said, okay, like, how do we open the space up and then focus on a couple key areas to make a statement? So one of the really cool things, I think, is the hot rolled steel on the staircase. And then the master bathroom was another place. And the rest was just kind of opening it up, making it bright and really interesting and cool. I like to call my look eclectic. A lot of people often say random. So I enlisted Joel and my mom, who really leads a furniture team with my brother at LT, and our head of visual Kathleen to come in and kind of help me shape the home. So it was really like a four person effort. When Jimmy brought me into this project, the space was actually finished. The kitchen was done, the bathroom looked beautiful, the walls were fresh white, and the floors were installed. It was basically ready to go. It just needed a lot of furniture and a lot of decorating. The hardest part about this project was the fact that Jamie is a less is more kind of person and I was really pushing him to decorate his home. It was a matter of seeing pieces in the space and editing and stepping back and really deciding what are the pieces that we really loved, what do we not necessarily need, and thinking about function just as well as form. One thing Joel was great at exposing to me was the levels in the home. Playing with different heights upstairs, I've got the bookcase beside my bedroom. There's a lot of sort of interesting levels in height. We broke up the main floor by creating zones. It wasn't just about creating furniture placement, but also how this related to the walls. Space. But then we really kind of separated it by adding these tall bookshelves, which helped to draw your eye in and really define that area. Over the sofa, we hung a large scale black and white photo, which also kind of defines the main living space. And really, all of the spaces are grounded by rugs, which is Jamie's passion. The one thing I'm always really opinionated on is where the rugs go and even playing around with interesting sizes. So, all the rugs in the house don't exactly fit the rooms perfectly. For example, that rock is narrow and long, and just pushing everybody to say, okay, like this is the piece I want to work around, and how do we make one thing that Jamie really wanted was a variety of different rugs, and I had a hard time with it at first. Because it's an open floor plan, you'd see all of these different styles in one eye shot. But at the end of the day, it actually works beautifully. They're more like art in a sense, so it doesn't quite matter if they completely match or of the same style. And really, that's what makes it kind of cool. From the furniture standpoint, it's a real mix of cool, low-lying, but also quite sophisticated pieces. There's a mix of textiles like velvets and linens. The color palette is pretty soft and these warm tones of grey, which relate beautifully to the floor. And then I think my favourite part are all of these punches of black, which was really inspired by this hot rolled steel, which we've actually continued throughout the space. My favourite transformation has got to be Jamie's bedroom. We wrapped the walls in a dark grey grass cloth to really kind of change it up from the rest of the space, which was mostly white. A beautiful upholstered bed, a tall bookshelf to display as objects. It's just a more interesting take on side tables and table lamps, and I think the look is fantastic, and it really relates well to the rest of his home. I was kind of really excited to see it come together in the end. It's amazing, the process. In the beginning, I thought it was going to be a very sort of low-key cosmetic renovation, and then it continues to evolve. A lot more goes into than you think, and I guess what was really exciting was just how it came together in the end.